Hello and welcome back to the Cat Lady. So, turns out the next thing we've got to do uh, is, whoops, not, not examine, we have to enter. So we need that discharge letter. Um, but we need that nurse to be out of the way. So, uh, open lid. Whoops. Drop all the gloves in. Flush. And then we press the bell. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaner's called in sick. Alright, now she's busy. We can... I mean, I say... I was going to say run, but briskly walk. Let me... We can just take that, and now we can leave. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mum. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. All right. Let's go. Um. All right. We just keep going, I guess. I don't need to go. God damn it. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Go home. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. Yeah, no shit. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why Good. can't I go tonight? I want to go now. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for All it right. now. But I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Now I'd like to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important <coughs> that you answer me as honestly as possible. Okay. Right. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan. So I'm guessing this happens see. like the next Are morning after what alone we've been at playing. The moment? I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I used to like being on my own, but I'm not sure if I still do. Too much time with my thoughts, and no one to talk to. Maybe I should get a parrot. We'd have a little chat each time I feel like opening up. Or maybe you could consider finding friends through our suicide watch service. They're very good. Helped a lot of people. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe I will. What do you do for a living? Um. I'm between jobs at the moment. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't oh. feel that great. I felt weak and powerless and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. I mean, modern, me modern medication me what your is pretty, look like. pretty good what shit. Is the first um, thing you can do you a lot do with each it. Day. Um... I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. If everyone has their vices. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Yeah. I... yeah. I mean, I, suppose I myself like a good cup of coffee. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. That's what it. do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Uh, probably better neurotransmitters in the brain. You know, more serotonin or dopamine or whatever it is. Um. It would be nice to have more money. I you know, guess. the people that say course, money doesn't buy long. happiness have you uh, ever obviously already have plenty of money. Depression or some other form of counselling. Um. No. no. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? I mean... I feel like she wouldn't Rarely. have problems. I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. <sighs> Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Somehow. Do you find it hard to concentrate? I mean, yes. yes. Sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. I mean, that's what I was going to select sometimes if there was a choice. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people out of it. Would that you wasn't ask an answer, a fireman though. if he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I what a shitty not. analogy. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. That puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Please, in your own words, Try to explain to me, why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Um... 
Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. Oof. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? I mean, I feel like she... Not Did anymore. Before? It's strange. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Cat. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What cats makes you feel worse? Um noise. I Too really don't like lots really and lots of noise. Me. I can hear everything through the thin walls of my flat. I have this neighbor. He often parties late into the night. It drives me crazy. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? Um I never um, really thought about it. I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it. Since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, Eric. your husband. Oh, I believe okay. this might I guess be he's important. Dead. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Um. I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We're nearly done here. I mean... There's just one more thing I must clear with you. Obviously. What exactly happened last night? Well... After I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. <clears throat> we must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me, quickly. All right. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. This way. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. The security oh. guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, you go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. All right. Oh, okay. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. All right. Down the 
That's all it already is. That's fine. There she is. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Okay. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. We'll call the lift. Enter. Where are we? I guess we just come up. What are we doing on the roof? Mm, this is Liz. probably not good. What the hell are you doing? And why is there blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's <clears> both <throat> jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. Um bad this idea. Is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? Uh, yeah. Smoked. Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. But I must jump anyway. I have no choice. Wait! Please stop and think for a second. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. Uh, she's a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened. I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels. When you're trapped, and you can't trust anyone? Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care, my family don't care, even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Yeah, because I made a joke about it. <clears throat> On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said after all. I... I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No! Well, shit. It's a shame, but... Um, even though we did everything right, I guess it just doesn't matter. It's one of those things, After I guess, that, that just happens. I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. 
She wouldn't do something like that. Do you, As though? a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. Bullshit. If you didn't care, you wouldn't... The door is locked? I plan ahead, Sus. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. All right, clever back girl, the fuck Susan. up. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. God damn it. <coughs> I mean, am I surprised? No. No, I am not. But thankfully, we don't die. Kind of. I mean, we're back in, um... <laughs> That's interesting, we've got a shadow here, and then it just sort of clicks into a... I think it looks... Alright, well, we'll pull the cord, I guess. Hmm. Eyeballs. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it is Susan can't miss them. I guess um if we chip we pick the wrong one we just die. Oh I hate that. Like my girls. I knew she Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. Is it this goddamn puzzle again? There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. It's one tells the truth, another one lies. I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. Right? But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Wasted. Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. While the other one always lies. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. Alright, so we'll just ask this one. It is blah 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 blah. Uh, which door would know, which door would know, um, the right one, which door would which the other door one would the point, other to? Door point me to? Because the 
the one that tells the truth will point to the one to the wrong door um because the liar doll the liar doll points to uh the wrong door because the truthful doll would point would point to the right door and the truthful doll would point to the wrong door because the liar doll would point to the wrong door because it's a liar so this is the wrong door we want to go through the other one because <clears throat> essentially they're both lying is this supposed to be my reward flowers i hate flowers you lied to me you lied All right, we'll just can. Oh. Well, that was a bit odd. Um, seems like the game crashed. So, great, great, great. Um, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Um. I'm probably going to have to play through a bunch more. Um, hmm. And I don't... Uh, yeah, I'll play through some of that again. Um, so I'll do that, and then uh, I will see you guys next episode, if, uh, if it works. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe um all those cool cool things that help really help out the channel and i will see you guys next time